ask you about the taxes in New Zealand. I'm getting an educational loan, so in order to repay the loan, is there any limitations that you can't transfer more than thousand New Zealand dollars per month, or you can send only up to fifty percent or seventy-five percent of your earnings back to your home country? No, absolutely uh, nothing of those conditions. Uh, uh, Vivek, as long as you have, uh, you know, earned your money and uh, paid your taxes on the earnings in New Zealand, what you do with your, you know, uh, post-tax paid money is is your business. The government has got no business to stop you and say we can only send fifty percent of it overseas. Or now, absolutely not. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, apply with confidence. Come to New Zealand. Please do not focus on working while you are studying. That's something I will be very upset about if you try to do. I know you have the pressure of having a loan on your head, but that does not mean that you begin to work full time while you're still a student. Please do not do that. Just stick to your 20 hours or whatever uh, number of hours is permitted. Just stick to that. Complete your course, get your post study work visa, and then you go work full time, earn your money, pay your taxes. And after you pay your taxes, whatever is left in the bank, if you want to send the whole thing back to India, I don't think there's a problem with that. All right, but no working full time when you're still doing your studies because later the government will catch you saying, hey, buddy, you were not supposed to do more than 20 hours. How come you work 30 hours or 40 hours? And then they can cut your uh, further visas and say, sorry, you breached your condition. So that's the reason I'm, I'm kind of giving you a forewarning.